guys so in this video i'll be talking about the um the cat boost algorithm we have talked about the xg boost algorithm before the cat boost algorithm is much more like as it has much more performance so let's get started so i'm gonna use like my uh ubuntu OS for this. So as you can see, I already like um am using like the decision tree algorithm from the live stream. So I'm just gonna close this. Uh, I'm gonna also close the Anaconda Navigator. Uh so, so if I all right. So first we need to install um cat boost to do this. Tab. So, okay, so this is the Cat Boost website. Go click on the documentation. And here, go to installation and Python package installation. And click on that and boom. So, installation is only supported by the 64 bit version of Python. All right, so yeah, I already have the 64 bit. Python version, so I don't need to worry about that. So I already have pandas, I already have numpy. Uh, I'm not sure if I have six. Uh, you know what, let's just search it up. Let's gonna wait. Of all that, so I'm just going to use, so this is like the official cat boost documentation. Here you can just like go search up cat boost and learn from it. So if, okay, so let me open up a new tab and let me just go to here. So it's loading the content. So while that's like loading, uh, so let me just show you the features of the cat boost algorithm itself so all right okay so it says that great quality without per parameter tuning so it said so what what does it mean by great quality without perform parameter tuning well the thing is you don't have to do like hyperparameter optimization since this cat boost algorithm already like takes care of those stuff so that's what i like about this cat boost algorithm it's like a very powerful algorithm in general and then you have like self hyperparameter optimization which is a huge like thing uh, that you don't have to like worry about so uh let me go to my anaconda navigator uh, i'm gonna switch so let me go to my environments here let me search up six yep i have six all right so let me all i have to do now is um actually let me just open up a new terminal so come on come on all right okay wait so i'm just gonna do okay I'm gonna go here and just do pip install cat boost. This might work. All right. So it successfully installed cat boost, which is great. All I have to do now is launch Jupyter Notebook. Uh, so these are some exploratory analysis that we did on the live stream like two weeks ago or something so first from cat boost let me import 
cat boost wait so cat boost classifier so uh, classifier here so i'm gonna create a oh instance of the object of the cat boost classifier object to do this i'm just going to simply call cat boost uh, all right just put the parentheses since we don't have to do some like hyper parameter optimization i'm just going to leave it blank so here I'm gonna write model dot fit x train uh, and y train. So oh no. Oh wait. Yeah. Now the it's training. So it so the loss decreases as you can see here, like a neural network, right? So now it's time to get some predictions from our cat boost algorithm. To do this, well, it's very easy. All I have to do is sklearn dot metrics. I'm gonna import accuracy score, right? So Oh uh, shoot. Accuracy score. I'm gonna also import y pred. No, not import. I'm gonna create a like variable called y pred. So uh, model dot predict, and I'm gonna predict the, the x test. So it contains all of the Y predictions for the X test. So now all we have to do is just print out the like Y print. It's very easy. All we have to do now is just do accuracy. Uh, accuracy score. Just print out the accuracy. It's a hundred percent, but this is not true because it's not that reliable. So to make it reliable, from the last video, I'm gonna perform the what do you call it, the k-fold cross validation. This is easy. So scalar dot model select. Shoot. Okay, so selection. I'm gonna import cross val score. Wait, actually, all right. So cross val score, and here I'm gonna write estimator set estimator equal to our model uh then i'm gonna create a variable x i'm gonna set this x to uh yeah so train explain and then y to y train Right, so I'm gonna set CV equal to 10, which are how many training folds that you want. I'm gonna store this as see, score. Right, so I don't need to worry about it. All I have to do now is just print out the accuracy. See. 
I'm going to times this by a hundred. See extra. This should work. But I don't know what I can't. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So that is like the, well, that's like the actual, like, accuracy. It's 100%. So, which means it's much more reliable. So, well, that's it for me. Well, see you guys next time in my next video.